Good morning. Good Saturday morning. Good Saturday morning, folks. Uh, Laura Bell here and Randy Bell. <laughs> <laughs> For it's yet a, it's okay. <laughs> another senior, senior saint, saint moment mm -hmm. yes. for you. Yeah. So uh, it's uh, it was cool when I got up. I like cool mornings. Mm -hmm. I didn't like it enough to go take a hike. Oh, I'm yet, sure. Yeah. Maybe later tonight. Okay. We'll do that, I'm sure. Yeah. Hope everybody's doing well today in this season of Advent as we again anticipate uh, celebrating Jesus as he broke into our neighborhood, mm -hmm. you know, a couple thousand years ago. Oh. But today we're going to talk about a cheerful heart. Sounds good. Do you have a cheerful heart? I think I do. You think? I try to do. Try to. <laughs> you think or you try? Yeah, I do. I have a cheerful heart. That's what I thought. Yes. I knew you'd get around to it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a cheerful heart. <clears throat> yep. And uh, again, this is we're, uh, we're using uh, Nancy Parker Brummett's uh, little book, The Hope of Glory. Mm -hmm. And it's a it's really a good devotional guide for. For those of us uh, a bit older in life, the chronologically gifted, as we say. Yes. Yes. So let's get started. And uh, good morning, Ms. Carol and Julie. It's good to have y'all today. Yep. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, Laurie, would you like to read our verse? We're going to be in Proverbs a lot today. Okay. And then we'll get started with a prayer. <clears throat> okay. The verse is Proverbs 15, 15. All the days of the oppressed are wretched, but the cheerful heart has a continual feast. Amen. Amen to that, yeah. Okay. Um, do you like to pray with us, please? Yes. Lord, it's difficult for us to be, be cheerful day in and day out especially when circumstances may fall, may leave us feeling anything but. It's on those days, Lord, that we ask you to give us the strength to offer a smile to someone, to look on the brighter side of an issue, and merely, <clears throat> merely to praise you with a cheerful heart. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we're talking about those that are who are cheerful promote a feeling of cheer in others. Do you think that's right? <clears throat> Definitely, yes. It, so it, it could be contagious. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's as contagious as COVID? <laughs> I've never thought of it that way, but I think um, if you're around, if you're having a bad day and you're around someone that's smiling or cheerful that it'll brighten your day yeah. and mm -hmm. make you see things maybe a little bit differently i agree mm -hmm. so if we have a cheerful heart it will probably show on our face mm -hmm. yeah I, I think that's right but listen to this it's hard to promote a feeling of cheer with a frown or a grumble but as trite as it seems, a smile can really turn someone else's frown upside down. Mm -hmm. um, it's true. You know, my dad, used, I remember he used to, growing up, and I've done this with our grandsons. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he, he would, uh, I don't know how he did it. I practiced it as hard. But he would be smiling and he'd do this. Mm-hmm. I remember that. But when he'd go down to the frowny piece, he couldn't sometimes keep that frown because we're laughing and smiling. He couldn't hold it. Yeah. So he'd have to hurry up and go back to the, to the mm -hmm. smile face. Mm -hmm. Anyway, here's some anonymous anonymous quotes about smiles. From what? Anonymous. Anonymous. <laughs> anonymous. So I like this one. A smile is an inexpensive facelift. Very true. Yes. Here's another one. A smile is a light in the window of your face that tells people you're at home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, I'm home. Here's a good one. It takes, y'all write this down. 
It takes just 17 muscles to smile and 43 to frown. Right. So more than twice as many to frown. It's like, oh, you want to work out, just walk around, frown a lot. Yeah. But I'd recommend against that. So mm -hmm. smile, it's easier. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, wrinkles are there to tell us where smiles have been. I like that. Yeah. That's a good one. Uh, if you see someone without a smile, give them one of yours. So that's a good one. Mm -hmm. give, give them away. Mm -hmm. I like to give them away walking around Walmart or mm -hmm. HCB or in the restaurant. Yes. Uh, here's one. No one likes the fake cheerfulness we encounter day to day. Have you ever encountered fake cheerfulness? Probably so. Probably. Yeah. You know, those that say, have a nice day after they've just been kind of ugly mm -hmm. yeah it's like yeah. well you know they kind of ignored the whole point there mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's insincere, insincere but uh, we all respond positively to a genuine smile and uh, you know that reflects a cheerful heart and so we all feel better when we are cheerful here's some that i like in the book studies have proven that those with a positive sunny outlook on life are most likely to have long satisfying lives i would agree I, to that yeah, i agree with that one yeah for sure yeah so walking through life with a positive attitude makes it possible for us to weather many difficulties and storms that come our way mm -hmm. uh, and keeping a sense of humor in the face of adversity you know very often keeps us from uh, succumbing to the depths of depression that might follow uh, Very true. adversity. So, you know, those that receive joy from the Lord have a genuine reason to be cheerful. Mm -hmm. So here's a question or two. Um, and y'all think on this too. Do you think you are more or less cheerful than you were 10 years ago? And, and before you answer, why do you think that change and does this mean you smile more or less? Well, what about you? Oh, yes. I'm more cheerful. Why? Um, well, I've, I finally answered the call that God's been poking me for 20 years. Mm-hmm. So, yes. During that 10-year change. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I know I am... Um, when I look back at the last 10 years, a lot happened in the last 10 years. We it's moved tough. several times in the last 10 years. And I think we're more settled now than we were at that point. Mm -hmm. So I agree. We just moved five, four or five times in 10 years. Yes. That's not bad. I well, love you, dear. Please let the next 10 years... Not be like that. <laughs> it's just. I'll keep smiling though. Every two years, that means we're packing. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we've only been no. here a year and a half. Not even that. Okay. In this house. Yeah. 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 All right, yeah. we're good. Anyway. Here's a here's a <laughs> question. How do you tell the difference between someone with a cheerful heart and someone who's just pretending to be cheerful? Mm. Yeah, that's a tough one. That is tough. Mm -hmm. Do you, here's another one. Do you think it's true that what exists in our heart shows on our faces? Yes. Yeah. I think it shows on your face, uh, in your eyes. Mm -hmm. So even wearing a mask, you know if I'm mm -hmm. happy or not? Mm -hmm. You can that, tell by someone's eyes. That's important today. If uh, they're smiling or not happy or... Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. So there's that song, The Mask. I mean, that movie, the show, The Mask Singer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the the mask smiler. <laughs> yeah. See it in your eyes. Yeah. See it in your eyes. Yeah. You know, there's some scripture that uh, talks about cheerfulness and happiness, and it's these are in Proverbs. Mm -hmm. uh, an anxious heart weighs a man down, but a kind word cheers him up. Mm -hmm. I agree to that. Mm -hmm. A happy heart makes the face cheerful, but heartache crushes the spirit. I've seen that. Yes. Yes. 
Uh, a cheerful look brings joy to the heart. And remember, those are free. Mm -hmm. You can give a cheerful look away and it costs you nothing. Absolutely nothing. True. And good news gives health to the bones. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Here's another one about that. A, a cheerful heart is good medicine. But a crushed spirit dries up the bones. So it's a, well, it's a heart. A proverb, huh? Yeah, it's a heart matter. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a heart matter. So yeah, when you go to, uh, you know, there's some some talk uh, in scripture about be of good cheer. You know, Jesus. There's several references to uh, to how he told his disciples to kind of relax. Uh, if you remember, he uh, in the raging storm in Matthew. In this King James Version, but straight away Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer as I do not be afraid. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, that's that's pretty dramatic. Yes. And Jesus says, Y'all relax, it's just me. It's just me, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you think they smile still? <laughs> <laughs> uh and, and in John, just before his death on the cross, Jesus encouraged his disciples by saying, In this world you see I have tribulation. Mm -hmm. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Mm -hmm. So he's saying, y'all going, you know, as Christians, you're going to really, uh, you, you're going to be martyred. You're going to be uh, persecuted, but be of good cheer. We're going to go through it. Because mm -hmm. I'm with you, right? So in other translations, like in the NIV, in the Matthew version of this about the storm, it says, take courage. Mm -hmm. And in the John uh, passage, on the tribulation, he says, but take heart. But still, the King James Version says, be of good cheer. Good so, cheer. you know, nothing's lost in the, either any of those translations. Um, <laughs> so, it is possible for us to be of good cheer. But it's impossible for us to be of good cheer unless we have courage and take heart. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this instruction of be good, be of good cheer. I hope that means something to y'all today. Mm -hmm. um, You've got several comments there. Oh yeah, I can't. I'm not. Good morning, Miss Barb. COVID is not cheerful. Yeah. yeah. Carol. Mm -hmm. Miss Carol. Miss Glenda. Huh. So as we go through the day, uh, you know, one of the best things we could do. Here's a thought. <clears throat> is cheer someone up, cheer someone else up is the best way to cheer ourselves up. True. So cheering others up is the best way to cheer someone else up. Mm -hmm. So I, I uh, again, it takes more twice the muscles to frown. So uh, just 17 to smile. Just 17. Smile. Smile. <laughs> it's easier. <laughs> True. Plus, you might True. affect someone else's day just by a simple smile, maybe with not even saying a word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yes, you can see the smile in the eyes of people, even in this masked society. So, Amen. any final thoughts on uh, be of good cheer? No, it's just a good time to think about yep, that. The season of Advent. Mm -hmm. Cheerful heart and anticipation of uh, our celebration of Christ when he broke into the world. Mm -hmm. So we don't get wrapped up in all the hustle and bustle of planning and shopping and crowds and all that. Yeah. Just think about the advent. Be of good cheer. Be, in, yep. in the raging storm. Mm -hmm. Which we, uh, the world tells us, y'all need all this, so mm -hmm. just relax. Mm hmm I said, we just relax. I'm with you. Yeah, he's there. Yeah. So, uh, the verse we started out with: "All the days of the oppressed are wretched, but the cheerful heart has a continual feast." So may your feast be constant and continuous today and going forward. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, close with a word of prayer. Okay. Holy God, we come to you today, and we're so grateful for the opportunity here to talk to folks about having a cheerful heart and how it might 
uh, be passed on to others so that the peace of Christ might also be theirs because it certainly is ours. So we pray your blessings upon those who are, uh, for whatever reason, uh, sad today. Mm -hmm. But we pray that your spirit would invade theirs. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So as we go today, a uh, reminder, uh, actonmethodist.com slash live. We have our services online at 9 and 1030 in the morning, but uh, we're also open uh, for in-person worship. Mm -hmm. And we are still actively pursuing our uh, COVID protocols and socially distancing. So. Yes. Mask up. Mask up and come on and we'll see your smiling eyes there in the morning. Yeah. And what are we doing today? Well, we're going to run over to Cleburne. Yeah, we're going to go to Cleburne today to meet my sister. She uh, moved back from Mississippi and we're going to go meet her and go to my parents' uh, gravesides and, and decorate for Christmas. Yeah. yeah that'd be Some memories. Looking forward to the day. So, yes. uh we hope you all have a good rest of the day, and may amen. God continue to richly bless you and your smiles. Yes, amen. All right.